JSTOR provides access to thousands of scholarly journal articles and is a great place to find sources for a variety of research questions. Unlike subject-specific databases like CINAHL or Business Source Complete, you can use JSTOR to search for articles that might fall under a variety of topics. This video will help you use JSTOR to search for scholarly journal articles. Once you have logged into the database, you'll notice that there is more than one search box at the top of the screen. This is because the databases require that you use keywords to search instead of complete sentences like Google. For more information on creating keywords, see our keywords video in this video's description. Under the keyword search boxes, you'll see that your search automatically defaults to content I can access. This ensures that your results will only include full text articles that you don't have to request from a librarian. Next, you can narrow by item type. I suggest limiting your search only to articles, which will remove sources like book reviews that are usually not accepted by professors as credible sources. You can also limit by publication date and language. The most important limiter in JSTOR is that you can narrow by discipline. This will let you tailor your results to only those categories that will be useful for your research, and is especially helpful if you're looking for articles with key terms that might float between disciplines. For example, if you're looking for articles on Edgar Allan Poe's poem The Raven, we probably only want articles that focus on literature, and not articles about ravens that are published in science journals. You can also choose to select more than one discipline if you're interested in articles in several different fields. For example, if I'm looking for articles about healthcare management, I might want to select public health, public policy and administration, health policy, and health sciences. If I'm looking for an article about Maya Angelou's short story graduation, I might want to select feminist and women's studies and African American studies, in addition to language and literature. Let's start off with a broad search. When I search for Maya Angelou's name using my discipline limiters, I get about 300 results. Since I don't want to go through all of these, I can refine my results by using the search within results box to the left hand side of the screen. When I put in the word graduation, it returns about 33 results, which makes it much easier to find what I want. Now that I have a narrow list of results, I can look through the articles and see which ones might be interesting for my research. I'm interested in The Way We Were, Precious Memories of the Black Segregated South, so I can click on the title to open that article. On this page, I can read the full text of the article, download the PDF so I can read it later, and even see the exact pages where my keywords are mentioned by clicking on the pages with search terms at the top of that article. You also see a complete citation in APA, Chicago, or MLA style. I highly recommend saving both the citation and the journal article full text so you don't have to find them again when it's time to write your paper. To return to your results list, click on the results link at the top left hand side of the page. Here, you can also edit your search terms at the top or explore other articles. Finally, you can use the keywords to the left hand side of the article to find other articles that might relate to your research questions. For example, I can click on segregation to find more articles about that topic. This concludes our brief tour of JSTOR. If you're having trouble finding articles, the librarians can help. Visit irsc.libguides.com slash askalibrarian to get help with your research questions.